What's up you guys? Good to see you here on the channel. We just uh, pulled up here to the landfill and we got a new toy and some of the guys are already standing around it and but uh, hopefully they know I'm gonna be the first one to knock the paint off of that blade. So let's go run them off of our machine and see what we got here. Y'all better, better get away from my machine. What are y'all doing over here looking at this machine? Hey, gum, boy, that's a good looking girl right there. Oh, yeah. Man. I like that. That's tough. Nice. That is really nice. Golly. Uh-huh. I hate to see it go to the landfill and get, <laughs> get scratched up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's going That's pretty. What do you think about it? Right, man. Yeah, it's a good looking machine, ain't she? All right, well, come on, climb up here. I'm gonna look in the cab real quick. So this has got the seat that is slightly angled to the right. Makes it a lot easier on the operator so you're not turning your neck and breaking your neck trying to look back. So as you can see, my feet, they're just kind of slightly angled toward that right door. And then we can more easily look back behind us, I assume, that this has got cameras in it as well but man this thing is some kind of modernized ergonomic grips for your blade control and i don't even know what everything does but our buddy matt is going to be here in just a little bit and go over the machine with us i'm not going to turn the motor on wow check this out we even got i guess it's touch screen man we're moving up in the world, you guys. Got a radio up there, a climate control, which I'll go ahead and turn that off for the time being so y'all can hear what I'm saying. I'm going to open up these doors, get us a little airflow coming through. It's a beautiful day today, about 75 probably outside. Um, like I said, Matt will be here in just a little bit. The guy that sold it to me and tell us all about it. Yeah, there's our cameras popping up so this is even going to show us our our slope our percentage of grade as well so that'll be handy back there trying to build three to one slopes this will give us a better feel for uh when we get the slope near done also I've got the fire suppression system in here we were checking that out just a while ago in the in the hood area so it's got fire suppression in the motor and in the rear end so um, I'm assuming that it goes by temperature. So if it gets crazy hot, then that thing is gonna, gonna pop off and put out the fire. We'll jump out and I'll show you guys the outside of the machine a little bit. Got a hell of a motor in here. You can't see much. They got it all crammed in there. Look at there. That is a big old cat. I forget which model, C15 or what it is to be honest with you we'll have to ask ask our buddy when he gets here but they got her all wrapped up and tucked in there and here's where you activate the fire suppression from the outside so if she were to catch on fire you had to jump out of the machine and it didn't activate for whatever reason you come up here slap that button but love this high track is going to be good to keep that final drive up out of the dirt and the trash huge blade on this thing it's got a u-blade yeah well it is a u-blade i was going to say u-blade style but see how that cups right there maybe if i show you from an angle that'll help hold the trash in place got big old lights fully guarded up there now, this thing has got the landfill package on it so the under under uh, carriage and the belly pans and all that is ultra ultra guarded and the biggest thing we've run in with in the past anytime we had like our compactors go down is we'd have to put a bulldozer in there and you'd get wire wrapped up around your final drive so this one's got special guarding and it looks like a wire cutter up there that duck work especially loves to get wrapped up in these final drives and what will happen is that wire will get down and uh, cut the seal and then you lose oil out of your final drive and it can be it can be a nightmare let's see what we got in here our 
are more of our fire suppression back here back by the transmission even got us a little place to keep your shovel for cleaning out your tracks i'll definitely go ahead and get one of those and put it up there big air cooler up top for the air conditioning nice little fold down ladder so you can get up there and check your hydraulic fluid and then it's got this cool i didn't even notice this there's a big striker bar right here so as trash wants to get hung up on the the tracks this bar right here is going to knock it off we'll see how long this lasts that's a hell of a piece of steel but this thing is going to be back there in the war zone in the trash so i kind of got my doubts that that's going to stay on for too long hopefully i'm wrong all right i'm going to climb back up here and i guess switch her off and wait for the our buddy matt to get here so he can show us all about the machine and then we're going to head back to the landfill and we're going to go knock the paint off this blade and see what she'll do oh, sorry. i hope you knocked your feet off where you got in there I, matt i did i did i did <laughs> they're on the mat they're good, on to the mat. You, good to see you buddy long too, time man. no see yes, what do you think she's pretty ain't she yeah, yeah. How long, how long do you think it's going to stay like this? Uh, probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then it's going to have its work yeah, clothes it, on. If, if that. Yes, yeah, sir. Then it'll have its work clothes on for sure. So I assume, I wasn't here when they delivered it, but I assume, you know, they obviously cranked her up, rolled her off the trailer, and that's uh, that's as far as we've we've made it. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Absolutely. But got touch screen. I climbed up in here with yep. the camera a little while ago and was just looking through looking through the screen just just briefly and then also the fire suppression so we just kind of opened up all the panels and looked at her this has got the cat what in it do you know is it the c 7.1 7.1 yes sir here comes rolando i was thinking too what i'd like to do matt okay antonio is going to be the fella running it sure so i'd like to get back there i don't know what all you're going to go over I'll go with this just yes, the sir. basics yes i guess sir. i'll go over the basics and then what i like y'all to do is actually have that weaker run time that's why i yeah. bring our certified trainer out right after that right that way he can do the full run around and answer questions okay so that we know what we're looking for gotcha by yes, then sir. we'll have some questions i'm sure yes, but sir. i do like the i've never had the dozer with the with the seat in it, the seat. angled seat yes sir. So that's nice seat, so you have no fatigue when you're looking backwards in dozer operation you're probably you know 50 percent in reverse 50 percent in forward so. right Okay. You know, it really makes that easy all day when you're running. Yeah, that's a sweet, sweet setup, man. Yes, sir. Yes, so. sir. All right. Well, you, do you want to? You want me to take her back to the landfill so Antonio right. can be there with us, or what's what? Be fine. You, you tell Matt, us how you want to do it. Matt, you or CSA will be here. In a minute. Okay. Um, as soon as he gets here, if you want to, we'll roll it back there. Sure. And I can show him the basics as far as cranking the operation. We can drive it back there so he has some questions. All right. Well, I'm driving. I'm you driving know, her back there. there I'm, not, I'm knocking the paint there off the blade. Go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll wait on him to get here then. Cool. We're going we're gonna to take this machine back to the landfill so Antonio can get in on the whole uh, once over. So Matt's going to show us how to get her fired up and tell us all the basics here. So I'm assuming we're just going to switch that Turn on the right on. there. Um, you're going to want to see the monitor come all the way up, go through its pre-checks. Okay. Two lights on the left go out. Okay. Um, when that happens, you know, you'll have your cat screen, wait till all your monitors come up and everything. All right. What yeah. lights you talking about go out? Yes, sir. So if you notice when you first cranked it up, there's two lights on this okay, side of the I monitor. Good Those attention. lights come up at first and then when they go out. All right. um, you'll always have a caution for safety and that there's an operators and maintenance manual located in the cab. Okay. Just okay. Just hit okay there. Yes, sir. So now you've got your main screen. Um, if you notice, you've got a full-time rear view camera yep. on the machine at all times for safety. Okay. Um, all your gauges, depth, fuel. Um, this shows your slope um, up and down. That's going to be handy side. right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's usually accurate within about a percent. So okay. very accurate. Cool. Um, and then all your temperature gauges are over here on the side. Um, this is going to show what gear you're in right now. You're in park. And yep. this will show what you have your forward and reverse speed set to. Okay. All right. So just some quick overview the way you adjust that your forward neutral reverse switch is going to be on the left hand joystick okay and then your track speed is going to be right here which will adjust your forward and reverse speed. oh nice all yes, right gotcha. so once you get your forward and reverse speed set in forward if you want to maintain a constant speed that's basically a cruise control button or a lock-in button on so you don't have to do anything um you've got excel decel pedals and brake down here yep so and i'm gonna slide my Oh, that's my air pumper upper. I'm going to yes, slide sir. my seat up a little bit because I'm short. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. 
Um, so now it's ready to crank and everything. Obviously, we always advise putting on a seat belt. Yep. Um, Safety first. Yes, sir. Make sure the seat belt's on. Three inch seat belt. Yes, sir. All right. And now, what about throttle on this one? Because you know, I'm used to them old, them old school dozers where I've got my toggle over you here. You got to turn knob. Yes, sir. On this machine, you're actually going to have on this side. You'll see a, a rabbit and yep. a turtle, and turtle over here on this okay. side. So that's going to give you full speed. And then this will set. That's your desail pedal. So you'll hold it down and then let out as you want more. All right. Um. And so this is my desail. Yes, sir. And that's a brake need to stop immediately on that side. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to be using the big pedal. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. But you should be good to go. Part brake's on over here on this side. This is your hydraulic function lockout. Okay. So um, you're good to go to crank. All Let's right. go to the crank. 10-4. Everybody clear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We in business now, Matt. Yes, I sir. like it. Nothing like the sound of the startup. Uh-uh. <laughs> she still smells new, too. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it'll have a little burn off. All right, so now should I go ahead with my decelerator to press, go ahead and hit my, my yes, rabbit? Sir. Go ahead and hit your rabbit. And that's gonna give you a full throttle. Push it all the way down. Oh, let it out. I'm sorry, I told you back. Oh, no, that's yeah, my fault. that's okay. I was thinking I it was. I thought it was the other way. That's my fault. That's my fault. No worries. My fault. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's going to be if you want to go back down with it. Yep, that'll take you all the way up, all the way down. You'll control now, it with the pedal. Okay, so it's just full throttle, then you just control it with the and, pedal on it. Yes, sir, run it with the diesel uh, okay. pedal. Now, you can also set it up in the computer where you can change it to an Axel pedal, but right. that's the way those are from the oh, yeah. is as a diesel. Okay. So when you're out... That's the way I'm used to it, too, anyway, so yes, we'll leave it like, like it is. Okay, good deal. All right, and... Cool. That's pretty much the basics, man. Once so, you get in and you're ready to go, hydraulic function release first and then park and brake then, And then park brake and then yes, uh, I'm good and to go. you'll see the lights go out up here when it happens. Sweet. All right, I'll meet you back at landfill. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we just got our little tutorial there. So we're gonna uh, unlock the hydraulics. We're gonna uh, unlock the park brake. We're gonna raise our blade up some here. Then I got to figure out how to actually go in gear with her, and we're gonna have to turn us on a little bit of AC because it's getting hot already. Okay, we got that up. We got that up. Now we just switch her in the forward, and we're gone. Okay, hold on a second. Let's get this. Oh, I see. Okay. So you actually pull on this toggle right here. So I had, this confused me for a second right here, but you pull back on this toggle to control your tracks. I was trying to go left and right, but it's kind of, you pull back on that and then push forward. And it's nice and easy, smooth operation too. This is a nice dozer, y'all. I'm excited about this. Make sure we ain't got no truck traffic coming. Of course, we're bigger than they are, so they're just gonna have to get out of our way. Nice LED screen here. We can see the guys from Cat following up behind us. There's Gene, my brother-in-law, hauling some dirt today. Then if y'all heard me just change gears, I was scared to do it while moving, but you could just come down here and flip this over, you know, to the, either to the turtle to go slower or the rabbit to go faster. I'm gonna click it again. So now we're on 1.2. I'm not exactly sure how many gears this thing has got, but we'll find out here in just a second. Go ahead and try to go to 1.3, 1.4. Man, that's easy right there. I like that. There's our buddy Mark and Jesus out there taking pictures of the new, the new toy. All right, now I just went into 1.6. We're making some pretty good tracks right now. And I tell y'all what, instead of going up the hall road, since we got this big ass dozer now, we're just gonna go over here and climb straight up the slope. We don't need no road. And she'll let you know when she uh, when the seat belt's off. 
I tell you what, I'm gonna hop out real quick like, and I'm gonna put y'all out there on the blade. So we're gonna go ahead and hit our turtle, idler all the way down. All right, gotta go to neutral. There we go. And up the hill we go, guys. Man, this thing is super nice. AC's getting a little bit cold. It's just climbing up this hill like nobody's business. I gotta get used to this turning, though. That's a nice machine right there, boy. It, like, I, I had to get used to the... Yeah, the turning port, yeah. the dip steer. Yeah, yeah I was about to run over the office down there because I... Yeah. <laughs> well, we saw it. What did I ask y'all? I, I said, he does know how to turn, right? <laughs> I meant to ask yes, I, I, I figured it out pretty quick. Let me get Antonio real quick like... What's that? This is where we're going to be dumping. As I showed you guys last week, we came up here, we put some clay on the top of the landfill. So now we're going to bring the traffic up right through here they can dump and we're gonna push down and fill in that valley all right so uh we'll just kind of start at the front and work our way around okay uh, you know pretty much you know you can actually your end bits are replaced when they wear out your center cutting edges you get two lives out of you can use the whole back side that's why they're angled on top okay um, to fit with the su blade um not a lot of as you, as you work backwards you're not going to have any You'll hear some squeaking at the startup because this none of this is breezable. Because what they found was if you breeze these points, it actually wears faster because it collects dirt out of the landfill application. Okay. So they use a case hardened steel inside of there. So it'll actually wear to itself and then you can obviously work all the way through the shit is where you do any printing and ball work. Nice. So it's just something they found if you get sand, especially in our environment with all this sand, it'll eat up, it'll eat up in no time. It turns into sandpaper. Okay. So kind of a big thing they do. Um, obviously, lift cylinders, this is your stationary side. You can adjust their angle a little bit. You've got three positions there if you want to. Um, your cylinder over there, it's going to give full, you're going to have more out than in. So if you want to angle anytime you're working, it's going to stroke more out to give you more angle to this side. When you pull back, it's only going to give you a little bit of angle the way it's designed. So you only end up angling one side and one side only. You, you can't angle a little bit the other way, but your full travel is going to be where you're pushing dirt to this side versus the other side. Okay. The reason they do that, if you notice, most guys are used to looking the length seat's angle. You're looking right through this window, so you can see your dirt roll off the blade to that side. Yeah. That's the way they design it. I like that angle seat, Antonio. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yeah, so, yeah work and look at mine. Like I said, those are operations probably it, as close to 50-50, maybe 60-40 yeah. forward and reverse. So having the seat, you know, at an angle reduces operating fatigue. Right. Um, moving on to the undercarriage, of course, steps for safety, handlebars, three points of contact, all that good stuff. Um, with the undercarriage, you do not want to run it rubber band tight. That little bit of sag that you see in there is what you want to see. When you do that, you're not eating after the drop it. You do the um, if you run them super tight, everything you do, they're constantly binding you to see right. everything up. Um, it's got a huge grease cylinder in here. You can get to the back of it back here with this inspection plate. And that's all those tracks that just have. In the operator's manual behind the seat, there is a sag. When you measure undercarriage, you don't measure the sag to the top. You're going to want to bend it and measure your deflection from the bottom rollers to the bottom edge of the lane. That measurement right there is the measurement that will give you an operator's manual. I don't remember the exact inches, but it's probably on this scene around three inches plus yeah. Okay. 2.5. Okay, so that's pretty close. All right. Um, you know, big thing, carrier rollers, if you start to see a lot of dirt build up in here where it can lock that carrier roller up, you just want to make sure that's a really important point to clean out. Your bottom rollers will clean their cells with the center guard and the opens in the middle. It'll push the dirt out. But here, if anything gets in here, you don't want to flat spot your top roller over time. Right. So just make sure you put that on. And it's wide open in there, so it's easy. easy to take care of. <laughs> so, three screen equalizer bar also. Yeah. 
Well, that's, that's easy enough. Yeah, that's easy enough. So yes, when when he gonna need to grease the back here? When will you do that? Like three months, six months. You're talking about for your tracks? Yeah. Yes, it's just, just if you see. Just if you start getting a lot of sag. Oh, okay. Start to slapping. You'll hear him start slapping. A as you needed. Right yeah. So yeah. Fast, so yeah. Um, on your final drives, you know this is your level. It's your it's your fill, your drain, and your level indicator. It does all in one. Drain it to the bottom. You can see your fill. It shows you. That's your fill point, so you put it halfway, just make sure to check your level, um, and you're, you're good to go. So like I say, if you want to drain it, you just point it. It's actually got a separate drain, but most of my guys, that's a bigger hole. Right. I'm going to be honest with you, they'll yeah. turn it to the bottom and then roll it back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next um, like I say, all the idlers, I mean, really no maintenance there until they wear. Um, cleaner bars, um, before we get too far, def and fuel are separated. They're both, it's got a blue cap, it's clearly marked. Back here on the back side, it is. Set is up. she regening now? Yeah. She is. So you'll hear it kick up like that. If you ever hear it kick up like that during operation, you're gonna want to. You never shut that machine. Right. Off. Let you her. Let her. Like let her run. Yeah, let re it go. Regen. Yes. Right. Yeah, regen. Right. It's all. It's all passive. Yeah. There's nothing you have to so, do. Just run yeah. the machine. So when you regen, do you have to stop it or you just stop it running? No, okay. sir, it's passive. You keep right on just working. Just keep on running. Okay. Yeah. You didn't hear anything. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Um, very important thing here, A, you've got an emergency start to stop at ground level. If the machine was, you know, having an issue and you had to bail off the machine, safety first. If you got to get away, get away. But if you have time, you flip that stop switch, it'll kill everything. Okay. Another very important thing that you'll see on here, you see that little orange light up top? When that orange light slit, like in the afternoons, if you want to kill your master disconnect, no. you never want to kill it with that orange yeah, light. Yeah, wait till it comes off, or it comes off when you come back. Yes, sir. Um, and you've got work lights on the machine. If you flip this, like if you're wanting to do your pre-check in the morning before sunlight, you flip that on, that'll cut your exterior lights on so you can oh. walk around without getting in the cab of the machine. Nice. So another way you can do that. Um, okay. Obviously, your lockout, if you're ever on a remote site, you can lock it. Uh, could you repeat this one more time for me with the light? Yes, sir. So if this light's on, you never want to kill this master switch. Because what that means is this that the machine has a depth burn system on it where the depth doesn't sit in the little small lines. It actually pumps it all back out into the big tank so that you don't have issues with crystallization or anything in the depth. So that light means that all the depth's been evacuated on the system and it's safe to cut the master off. You only really want to cut that master off if you're going to be away from the machine for a long period or if there's a safety issue. Okay, well, um, how long How long a period? Weekend? A week? A week? A weekend would not make me cut the master switch. So we'll just leave the master on. And even though I did notice the LEDs up there yes, sir. blink, they'll just blink all the time? or No, sir. They'll cut off of me. We yeah. probably got a switch on in the cab. I'll okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Walking around the back of the machine, um, cleaner bars, ladder folds up. They don't do the fixed ladder on these. That's your AC filter up there, your cab AC filter. On that left side, it's got, I mean, it's a huge filter. Yeah. You know, operator comfort is huge, and that, that's what helps that happen inside the cab, keep the cab clean. That AC is cold, too, boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's about, fr it. about I frozen. Feel, I got to feel it from over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, and, you know, rear screens all the way around it, machine CB radio ready, so CB radio already mounted. Okay. Um, it works fine down. I get guys turn them up and then rip them off, but oh, yeah. it works fine the way it is. All right. Um, Antonio, I want you to see how long you can keep these striker bars <laughs> in place, okay? <laughs> okay. Beer <laughs> beer bed. Yeah. 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 Okay. All your fire suppression is located inside of a sealed cabinet. It's locked, so all your fire suppression bottles are in here, so you don't have to worry about damage from, you know, getting hit or anything or any That's kind of falls going on. And what controls it? Is there a temperature gauge somewhere that says so, it gets 500 degrees? It's it, going to go it ahead. It has heat sensors located throughout the cab. Um, I mean, the engine compartment, the cab, under the cab, just strategically throughout the machine. Okay. If it hits that certain temperature, it will automatically go off. Yep. There's also inside the cab, there's yeah, a plunger switch, it, yeah. and there's and, a remote plunger switch. It's always on the off side of the machine because yeah. if you pull that, you want it to be intentional. Right. So they don't put it where you're walking up all the time by grab handles and accidentally. And, and just while we're talking about that, Matt. Yes, sir. Like, do we have to worry about what's that two by four comes up and slaps that or what have it's you? It's got I mean. a safety pin on the back side of okay. it. So make sure your safety pin stays in the machine. You have to pull the pin and then pull the plug. Okay. Pull the pin and pull the plug. Yes, sir. All right. Um, while we're here, hydraulic fill levels over on the side. This is operating temp fill levels if you want to stay in the green. Okay. Um, at the green, a little bit above the green to the bottom of the green is good to go. All right. Um, so, so, as we walk around, one thing CAT does a good job of, obviously we know the application. 
you notice, there's real sheet metal, and then we have guarding all the way around the machine, even over the sheet metal. So you'll see double metal all the way around this machine. And does this one have thicker belly pans than normal, or what? You know, this is a trash application on this one, so what extra? So two things. Are they thicker? Yes. It's heavy-duty bottom guards all the way through it, but the biggest thing is they're hinged for easy access. Uh, okay. There's also, um, in the floorboard of the machine, you can actually pull and access the entire underneath of the cab without removing the cab the or having cab to pull itself. the cab back. Nice. So that's actually, I know it's not a belly pan, but it's in the same mold. Okay. There's also strategically placed small belly pans for servicing that you can actually pull off to let your drain lines hang down through so that you don't get any collection of fluids in the belly. Nice. So you can actually see you were talking about that. That's actually some of the pins down there for the belly pan to rotate down. Okay. So here's the work on kind of identical to this side. Um, one thing that Cat does a good job of, if you look at this machine, the entire regen system up on top of the engine is a system. So if they have to do any kind of work or need to get to an overhead, anything like that, they can actually remove the top of the hood and pick the entire region system up off of it in one oh. unit instead of having to just assemble a piece of the plant. Okay. Um, nice. You know, clear safety charts. Show you all your lift points if you ever have to lift or do any kind of tie down to the machine. So you have to tie down to that application here in the background. <laughs> if you can hear me but this is hydraulic oil back here it's got a breather on top transmission fluid is right here it's separate they're all locked compartments what we found is if you leave those compartments locked that'll stop guys from cross contaminating fluids so you have to know you have to look at a label that says what goes in that compartment unlock it and then add it in um, they do a good job of guarding this is all your transmission and hydraulic filters they're all inside of here and they're element style filters so you get less waste you're not throwing away a whole metal filter compartment every time you're replacing the car. Okay. Yes, sir. They also have remote test ports, so when we do fuel sampling, you don't have to go in there and worry about pulling samples out of a tank. You can tap into it and get your samples out. I got this stuff figured out, ain't you, man? They do well. I guess you've got to be the mechanic on this one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's the basics, like I told you before, this cylinder is also adjustable. There's three different positions, so if you want more pitch forward on your blade, okay. and you want that dirt to roll off, or if you want to lay it back so you can carry more dirt, right. that's what allows you to do that, you can adjust that pitch. And like I said, you can see we're pretty much dead even right now. Yeah. So backwards, you're only going to get that much stroke. The other way, you've got full travel. So like I said, that way it's pushing dirt to the operator side where you can look on that left shoulder. So Sweet. That's awesome, man. It'll so still angle both ways. It's like five degrees versus four. Okay. Badass, man. And that's that's the biggest parts of it, as you can see. I mean, all the lights even are gone. I mean, everything's right, everything's gone. gone. All LED. It has to be down here. I mean, when you're down there in that mess, I mean, it's just there's so much stuff flying at you all the time. So it's got to be guarded. With this. Um, cat factory trash guard on the front of the blade, just to keep everything rolling and keep them off of your lift cylinders. Yep. Um, you know all that kind of stuff. Nice. I'm about ready to knock some paint off that blade. What you reckon? Absolutely. All right. They're only pretty if they're dirty. That's it. All right, guys, we've got a new battery in the GoPro. Now it's the time we've been waiting on. We're about to drive down into the landfill here, knock the paint off this blade, and hopefully not knock anything else off and or lose the GoPro. So I'm going to hook y'all to the blade here. Let's see how it goes. Wait on that truck to get out of our way here.
while we're waiting on these trucks to dump, let's go over here and see if we can play on this slope a little bit. <clears throat> Push a little bit of trash up to the top or something. Wait on these guys to dump out. But I tell you what, this girl sure does make easy work out of pushing this waste. We ain't pushed a whole lot just yet. Let's see what she does on this side slope. This is pretty steep right here. So I think I'm actually going to turn it down back to 1.5. Oh yeah, she's just pushing uphill easy as can be like it ain't nobody's business oh this is gonna be awesome you guys Oh yeah, she's working now, boy. You can hear that old cat motor just a whistling.
smash the blade a little bit. We didn't knock all the paint off of it, but that is gonna make a big, big game changer down here in the landfill. That little slope we were playing on right over there, look at the compaction we got. This is gonna be a, a game changer, man. I'm excited. That is one fine machine. Now I think it's time to let Mr. Antonio get in it. We'll film him a little bit. We got us a little rush here, right around lunchtime. We just put Antonio in the new bulldozer, so he's trying to get the hang of that machine. I, I ran it for a little bit there. Super nice machine. I think it's really gonna change up operations down here for the better. There he is now pushing a little bit of trash, trying to get the, the feel for that blade with those new cutting edges on the bottom. It's really kind of hard to see how much of the of the floor you're taking with you. But just a normal trash day here, a lot of construction and demolition material, a lot of lumber, brick. This guy's got a bunch of bags of pine straw and just all kind of waste. That truck yonder, looks like we got a lot of pallets. See, this is what I was talking about with you guys the other day. You know, we recycle as much as we can, but if the material were sorted out before it got to us, it would make life a whole lot easier and we would be able to recycle a lot more efficiently. But unfortunately, it, that just doesn't, that doesn't happen because I need all this wood over at the mulch yard so we can run it through the grinder and make, make mulch with it. But unfortunately, when everything's all mixed together and it shows up right here, we just simply don't have the ability to sort through it and to recycle more material. And we'll make Antonio a little bit more nervous. He's already nervous being in a brand new machine he's never ran before. So we'll film him a little bit and make him even more nervous. He's trying to figure out that blade right now. It'll take a little bit of time to get used to it, but that blade on the dozer is gonna help it keep the floor a lot cleaner down here. The blade on the compactor, because it's got those knobby tires on it, makes it really hard to make a nice smooth cut. Whereas that dozer on tracks, once he gets that blade figured out and knows where to put it, it'll make it really easy to quickly clean this whole floor. And we don't have to worry about trucks backing over junk near as much. If it gets a little too deep with that blade though, then we'll get down in the trash and we'll lose our cover dirt. Just as soon as he can get the floor clean, you know, you've got more trucks waiting to dump. So that's gonna be huge in uh, keeping this floor clean and pushed efficiently and quickly. And so the plan is for the dozer to push the waste to the compactor. The compactor has the ability to push, but it does a better job at just strictly compacting. So the dozer's got the pushing power now. He can push the trash right to the compactor where he can kind of fluff it out a little bit, but mainly, just run over it and compact it. This is how quickly you got trucks coming in though. So you gotta stay on your game down here on the floor. Try to just make clean dumping surface for the next truck coming in while compacting. So that's kind of the name of the game for this bulldozer here. Keep the floor clean, keep the compactor fed with material. Yeah, it should work a lot more uh, smoothly down here now with the dozer's help. We got another truck over there. Look at all that wood falling out of that truck. See, we, I really would love to have all that material for the mulch yard. So we're gonna have to figure out a way here to segregate this material out. I think once we get down into the next cell, 
We actually have a sorting line that we bought. Might be a good time to set it up, run some, some of this material across the line and hand pick out material so that we can increase our recycling efforts. The guys are working it just like they're supposed to. Dozier bringing it right over to the compactor and then he can just stay in one little area and he can just compact, compact, compact because airspace is the name of the game when you're landfilling. <laughs> and here's this old U-Haul we bought a few years back. We keep all of our our petroleum products in there, all the hydraulic oil and that type of stuff, but the old U-Haul hadn't ran in a while, so Rolando's got it hooked up to the cat backhoe and <laughs> it's uh that's its power right now. The guys are gonna try to get all this stuff moved. We've gotta get this container moved, fuel tank moved. That way we can fill all this area in with waste now. Hopefully they make it and that chain don't break. Has some interesting video footage if the chain breaks though, because I'm not sure the brakes work on that thing. Uh-oh, we'll have to put it in four wheel drive to see can they make it up the hill. Come on, baby, you got it. There we go. A free hat. Yeah, I, I, I bought I bought half a million dollars worth of hats to get this free dozer right here. Yeah. Pick out which color you like, dude. I like this dozer. Yeah. I think it's going it's going to be really good for us. Okay. Well, there you are, sir. You got any questions? You good to go? Yeah, it's just gonna take you a little bit of time. Yeah, I know. Because I, 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 I did have a struggle with it. Yeah, it took me a little while. You, you'll get it. Just play with it and have fun. Don't get spoiled though. <laughs> Don't get spoiled. That's it. That's right. That's right. See you, buddy. I'm gonna film. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Appreciate y'all watching. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video, y'all.